Hey everybody, welcome back to the Brick Corner. Today we are going to be reviewing the UCS A-Wing Starfighter Star Wars set, Lego Star Wars set, Ultimate Collector Series as you can see up here in the top corner. Alright, let's flip it over. So you can see some other angles of the UCS A-Wing right here. It's huge, <laughs> it's a very big set. Um, so let's open it up. So this set number is 75275 and has 1,673 pieces. It was $200 and it released in 2020 as the May the 4th UCS set. Let's get into the building.
here is the finished masterpiece the UCS a wing starfighter to complete the UCS fleet just wow let me say an amazing build experience as it is with basically all UCS sets uh, but my goodness this one was amazing the level of creativity they used to recreate this set is mind-boggling the uh, angles they had to do here I could tell were quite a challenge for them as they went into designing the build for this set and they just did a great job you can see how smooth it is how beautiful it looks and just the yeah this is how great this thing looks it'll look amazing on a shelf and yeah that's <laughs> that's really all I have to say about that uh, we can start with the plaque down here if you want to read it you can pause it just give some little details about the starfighter like the manufacturer and the length engines hyperdrive shielding and weapons and the little image outline blue outline UCS thing right there Star Wars A-Wing Starfighter let's take a look at the minifigure before we get into the main part of this video which is the UCS A-Wing alright so looking at the minifigure we'll start with the helmet let's pop that off As you can see it's an A-Wing pilot helmet <laughs> amazing mold here I love how these two parts kind of jut out and protect his face. Just what a mold. Bunch of different colors, very 3D, bunch of different angles, shapes. They've captured it absolutely beautifully into Lego form. And it fits nicely on our A-Wing pilot right here, who seems pretty happy to have such a perfect helmet. Back of his face is, uh-oh, he's gotten into some trouble. Uh, a bunch of TIE fighters are coming his way. Uh, he better get the guns ready and call on his friends. <laughs> so we'll put uh, the helmet back on to cover up that face. Let's just have him smiling. Looking at the green torso here. So much detail. We have straps, breathing apparatus here, tubing that goes down through his uh, the back, <laughs> through his legs, his waist piece. As you can see, there is waist printing, which means Lego means business with this minifigure. Uh, armor green, gray, light gray, black, whole bunch of different colors, bunch of different layers, bunch of different layers to the print, and it's just a beautiful print overall. Looking at the back of his torso, we can see some more of the gray armor carrying over and some of the green torso carrying over. So that is the minifigure that comes with this set. And he just sits right here on these two one studded tiles on the base, uh, not base plate, the stand here. Speaking of the stand, we can just briefly talk about it before getting to the main attraction. There's just a bunch of Technic to hold up this beast. Uh, you can, as you can see, you can tilt it like this, and you can just, or you can just keep it straight up like that, using this mechanism right here, personally. I like it like that. It looks pretty sick. It looks like it's flying. Pretty amazing. All right. <sighs> I don't even know where to start with this. Uh, I guess we can start the cockpit. Uh, this has a very, very nice cockpit piece. Try and take it off. There it is. There's some stickers around it, which I don't know. They definitely add a nice level of detail. I know a lot of people don't really like stickers, but I think used in this way is acceptable. They're not overdoing it or anything like that. And this carries up and stays nice and flush throughout the whole A-Wing as this very difficult angle right here to capture in Lego starts towards the nose. So looking at it from above, you can tell that there are not a lot of studs showing. So they kind of went for a mixture of studs and keeping it nice and flat, smooth, like here, here, parts of the nose up here. So I think it's a it's a very nice, healthy amount of studs and just tiles. If it was all tile, it's kind of Lego. I guess for me at least, it's they're kind of straying away from their brand image. They're not. They're kind of trying to be something they're not. They should really embrace the studs, but also not overdo it on a set like this because it is collectible. But they really did a great job kind of finding that balance within the set here. So the cockpit back of it kind of is this big maroon block which is 
just looks nice the angles they've captured it perfectly and they've again being mindful of studs and smoothness, the smoothness of the windshield is reflected by the smoothness of this back part, and it comes all the way back to a nice white part here. As we move to the back, we can see this, I'm not quite sure what it is, maybe exhaust? I'm not quite sure what that is, but here are the two huge yellow thrusters, absolutely beautiful. So you can see there's two layers to them, so here, and then the thrust carries out into the second ring and flies. Shows the power this thing has. There of the engine, another sticker they used. Again, that's something you can't really capture with Lego because of the angle. This needs to be nice and round. So they used a sticker. Makes plenty of sense to me and makes the set look that much more realistic. Uh, that is mirrored on the other side as well. Uh, wings, as you can see right here on the back, these flaps uh, to control the ship. Are beautiful uh, sometimes they're a little hard there move them. you can move them so they're nice and symmetrical but sometimes they're hard to do and they're separated on the top and bottom so you can move you have basically complete free range of motion here for the wings on the a-wing looking at some of the detail on top you can see it's not symmetrical which shows you what the rebellion is really working with these old ships that aren't that aren't you know made in factories like the uh the imperials the empire uh more more asymmetricalness here they actually use stickers on this side and not on this side which is interesting i've never seen that done how to uh kind of show how this is not really uniform by using stickers again more gray over here less gray over there different places where they put the stuff. Two more stickers up here by the nose. This little slit in the middle is beautiful. I like how they put the studs around it and then it's smooth after. Looks very nice. Now, moving to, whoa. That's something that you have to watch out with the stand. It kind of, you want to put it up and then it doesn't really want to cooperate with you. And then it, Kind of just falls like that, and you get really scared because you do not want this thing to break. <laughs> um, but, yeah, alright, that thing is not staying up. I'm not quite sure why. As you can see, in the beginning of the video, you saw that it did. But, I guess a little wobble can really make this thing not <laughs> stay up. There we go. So, there are the two huge guns on either side. They are beautiful. So much detail. They have so many mini small pieces there to really capture the ins and outs of the guns the turrets they're beautiful they just look super powerful uh, they did a great job with the guns on the on the a-wing here brief look at the underbelly as you can see there's a lot more stud action on the bottom on the back there isn't really any studs facing out um, as much as the front but as you can see yeah there's more studs missing on the bottom which I like uh, better than seeing just the bottom of a base plate, which is pretty boring. Uh, so I'm glad that they took the time to at least show studs here. It would have been nice if they did some of the uh, smoothness on the bottom too, but I guess they thought, you know, why drive up, maybe it drop, maybe it'll increase the price. So let's not do that if it's really not that important. As you can see, some more detailing on the sides here. Uh, black pieces right here showing some detail can get a little bit of exposed technique right there from the gun but you have to look pretty hard to see it now that we're done with the exterior let's take a quick look at the small bit of interior here what a throne this seat is they did some great detailing here uh, it can move back and forth so it can recline move forward a little bit <laughs> that doesn't seem very comfortable but it can move back like that and it's continued to the seat portion so as you can see there's no studs to put a minifigure because it's not minifigure scale all right, so looking further into the cockpit, you can see there's a little control panel right there with kind of like the viewfinder where they can shoot the TIE fighter or shoot a TIE fighter. Buttons, bunch of other stuff, and then this is a little throttle thing. You can kind of move it around, not really. It's pretty much stuck in there. A little bit more exposed technique, but again, you have to look pretty hard to see that. So yeah, that's the UCS A-Wing. Wow, this is just a fantastic set. It looks beautiful on a shelf, especially when it's angled down like that. 
oh, it just looks beautiful. I, I just cannot recommend this set enough. If you have $200 to spare, and if, if you're just looking for a, a UCS set to buy, I highly recommend this one. Uh, there is a link in the description if you want to buy this for yourself, my Amazon affiliate link. So if you want to buy this for yourself, there will be a link in the description. If you enjoy this video, please like, comment, and subscribe.